Welcome everyone, my name is Ayn and it's time to journey into witch book questions and speculations again. What kind of game will Witchbrook be? And what's some of the features we want in a magical sim game? For example, how long is training, mods in the game, how do spells work, and what is the replay value? All good questions to ask right now, since we're still waiting for news on the game. Also, my creative soul loves speculation talk and what-if scenarios. Plus, I think revisiting this once Witchbrook is released to see how close or how far I hit the mark would be fun as well. Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my video. Now, what do we know about Witchbrook so far? Let's go over the game's description again. Experience the thrills and pitfalls of school life in Witchbrook. Discover a spell-binding, isometric world full of charm and intrigue in this richly detailed magical school and town life simulator. Forge your own identity as a witch in training on the road to graduation. Build relationships with fellow students and town folk. Develop your magical Abilities by attending classes and completing assignments. Participate in extracurricular activities such as fishing, growing magical crops, and foraging strange mushrooms. Master secret spells, make friends for life, and unravel the mysteries of the school. Who will be your best friend? Your arrival and your date for prom. Now, there are some key words that stand out to me. Now, there's some key words I'd like to point out to everyone. Charm and intrigue, life simulator, witch in training, graduation, develop your magical abilities, fishing, growing magical crops and foraging strange mushrooms, and lastly, secret spells. These key words make my mind turn as to where you know this game could be heading towards first it is a life simulator game so we know that involves you know building relationships you know doing your daily lives but you're also a witch in training because you need to develop your magical abilities and then for you to graduate and as well you're gonna have secret spells that you can learn and then you have fishing which is just fishing so that's going to be a normal activity which I expect there will be other normal activities that you can do as well which you know the dating prom so forth and then you have growing magical crops and then forging those strange mushrooms which of course they could lead towards your you know developing your magical abilities and then of course if there's potion making in this game and lastly, you have charm and intrigue, which to me is just another way of saying it's a captivating world that you can immerse yourself in. Now that I have these keywords uh, set up for how we're going to go into the next part, let's go ahead and let's get started on some of the questions I have and what I think it um, could be or what I would like it to be at the same time. My first question is the length of training before becoming a witch. It may be safe to say that it will either be a four or a three year school length, but of course this may be completely wrong if you grow up in the school from a young child. There are pros and cons to this, and I hope they allow us to spend time in this world of witches. I don't want to compare this to Stardew Valley, yet I hope to enjoy a world of witches for many in-game years on one save. Stardew in that aspect excels. I am enjoying my time without rushing to the end. I am learning at my pace and the joys of learning at a slower pace help me. Rushing gives me anxiety. Stardew Valley and similar games improve it because there's no wrong way to play the game. Life and farming sims have helped my mental health significantly and why I play them more often lately. Now I hope Witchbrook will balance the gameplay where it isn't just a time management game to get to the end 
While yes, a school setting means deadlines, what happens if you don't meet that deadline? Are you held back? Do you fail out of school and receive the game over title screen? There is pressure in every one of these, but I completely understand if that is the case. All I can hope for is a balance where if you fail, it doesn't mean that game over screen. My next question is, are there different elements to specialize in this world? Air, water, earth, and fire are typical elements. But will there be more elements added to the list? A fifth one or a combination of two create a whole new one? Also, will there be dark magic or just light magic? Can you even be an evil witch in this game? That wouldn't be so wholesome now, would it? Are you locked into the elements if they exist? That would allow for a replay value. Then again, maybe you can do it all in one save, but that seems like you'd be going to school for the rest of your life. Without knowing the specifics of the kind of magical abilities you are developing, this question is hard to answer right now. However, it sounds incredible, so therefore think about adding this if you haven't already, Chucklefish. Pretty please? Also, what magical references are they basing the magical abilities? similar to Harry Potter, or will they bring in more cultures into the mix? I hope it's the later and not the formal. Finally, I want different branches of magic for replayability. If they don't go with the element route for magic systems, they could go with various fields of magic to focus on or something similar to that notion. Uh, my mind is really leaning towards replay value when thinking about this versus a one-shot gameplay only. Finally, I want different types of pets available for us to own. I crave choices and at least two different types that I can own. Maybe they'll allow us to dress them as well. Imagine different color hats so you can place on your pet's head. Based on the description, it does not mention any animals for us to own or raise. Yet witches with familiar at their side populate the media. This depiction is ingrained in our minds since our childhood, so which is why I believe it will be in the game. Now for the types of pets. Cats are the most known witch familiar. Maybe a hedgehog as a pet or an owl. I don't see dogs as magical pets. Sorry dog lovers out there. That isn't to say dogs won't be one in this game. Also, will these pets speak to us or is that a magical ability you have to train? Now, that would be awesome to have. Speculation talk and what if scenarios are always so much fun. This video is a starting point for me on Witchbrook. I may expand these ideas or I may add new ones in the future. Also, I will post updates on news released on the game, even if that tosses out an idea I mentioned in any of my videos. What are your thoughts? Do you want to see the same ideas? Or is there something else you think this game should have in it? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date on Witchbrook News and Love Life Simulator games, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next journey.